everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Not So Vintage Washcloth. This is a washcloth to match the Not So Vintage Hot Pad, which can also be found here on my channel. This is the Not So Vintage Washcloth. This is a very uh, thick washcloth design and uh, it's worked in these beautiful puff stitchers. It is a circular pattern so we're going to be working it in rounds. For the design you're going to need about uh, 150 yards of three different colors of a worsted weight cotton. I'm using the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand today in this uh, green, yellow, and gray color. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. A direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com, can be found in the description of this video, and uh, be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, take a look around at some of the other free washcloth patterns and other patterns for your home that you can also find here on my channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified when I post a new design. Uh, here you'll also find free crochet stitch tutorials and this channel is updated uh, weekly. Our design today is worked in rounds. Uh, you're also going to want to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle handy as we will be fastening off and weaving in our ends after each round for this pattern. So this is a great pattern if you have a lot of uh, scrap cotton around you may want to try it out with this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making a magic ring. Your other option is that you can chain two uh, and then work into the second chain from your hook. It's up to you. Uh, for my magic ring, I simply like to take my yarn, leave a little bit of a longer tail, fold it over like I would for my slip knot, and then draw my working yarn up inside, place it on my hook, and then chain one. As I'm working, I'm going to keep my ring finger through the center of the hole just so that it doesn't disappear as I'm working. So once you've made your rat magic ring and you've chained one, you're going to work a puff stitch followed by a chain one into the center of your ring six times. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over and drop a loop, and do that three times. So there's once, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop loop twice, yarn over, insert your hook in the ring, yarn over, drop loop three times, yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook and chain one. You're then going to repeat that five more times all into the center of your ring. So puff stitch, and chain one. So there's three. four, five, and six. Chain one and pull your magic ring closed and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then go ahead and fasten off your color A. Now with your color B, you're going to join it with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And you're going to join into a chain one space. 
and chain one. Now into this first chain one space, you're going to work a puff stitch. chain one and puff stitch into the same space. Skip the next puff stitch and then into your next chain one space work puff stitch chain one and puff stitch. You're going to repeat that in each chain one space all the way around. At the end of round two, when you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, into the top of your first puff stitch. And you can go ahead and fasten off your color B. Now once again, in any chain one space, join your color C with a slip stitch in chain one. And into this first chain one space, you're going to work a puff stitch. Chain one and puff stitch. Next, working into the space between the next two puff stitches, so just spread your puff stitches apart, there's no chain one in between, you're simply going to work a puff stitch. Next, into your next chain one space, work a puff stitch. chain one and puff stitch. In the space between the next two stitches, work one puff stitch and repeat. You're going to repeat this all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and fasten off. At the end of round three, you're going to join your color A with a slip stitch in any chain one space and chain one. For round four, with your color A, you're going to work a puff stitch. Chain one and puff stitch in that chain one space. You're then going to skip the next puff stitch, which is this one right here, and then in the top of your next puff stitch, work one puff stitch. Chain one and puff stitch. Skip the next puff stitch and into your next chain one space, work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, skip the next puff stitch and into the top of your next puff stitch, work a puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch. Repeat that all the way around joining with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch and fastening off your color A. For round five in any chain one space you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch and chain one. For round five, you're going to start by working a puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch into the same chain one space, 
skip the next puff stitch and into the space between the next two puff stitches you're going to work one puff stitch. Skip the next puff and into the next chain one space. Work a puff stitch. Chain one and puff stitch. Into the space between the next two puff stitches, work one puff stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round six, you're going to join your color C with a slip stitch in any one, chain one space and chain one. For round six, we're going to work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch into the same space as joining. Skip the next puff stitch and then into the top of your next puff stitch you're going to work a puff stitch. chain one and puff stitch. Skip the next puff and into your next chain one space work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. Skip the next puff stitch and into the top of the next puff stitch, work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round seven, with color A, join in any chain one space. and chain one. Into your same spaces joining you're going to work a puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch in the same space. Then in each chain one space all the way around so skip the next two puff stitches in your next chain one space you're going to work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch and you're going to do that in each chain one space all the way around. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round eight, with your color B, you're going to join it in any chain one space and chain one. Into the same chain one space as joining, you're going to work your puff stitch, followed by a chain one and puff stitch. You're going to then work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in each of the next five chain one spaces. So into the next one, puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch. That's one. Now two. three, 
into the next chain one space four and five. Then skip the next puff stitch and in between these next two puff stitches work one puff stitch. You're now going to work a puff stitch, chain one puff stitch in each of the next chain uh, six chain one spaces, followed by a puff stitch in between the next two stitches. So puff stitch, chain one puff stitch in each of the next cha six chain one spaces and then puff stitch in between the next two puff stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and fasten off your color B. For round nine you're going to join your color C in a chain one space and chain one into that first chain one space you're going to work your puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch into the same space, and you're going to repeat that in each of the next five chain one spaces. So you want to work your puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch in each of the next six chain one spaces in total. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. You're then going to skip the next puff stitch and into the top of the next puff stitch. Simply work uh, a puff stitch, chain one, and puff into the top of that next puff stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around into the next, each of the next six Chain, uh, chain one spaces, work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch, and then work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch into, uh, skip the next puff, and then work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, in the next puff stitch. So you're going to repeat that all the way around, and uh, join with the slip stitch in the first stitch, and fasten off your color C. going to take your color A once again and join your yarn in any chain one space and chain one. 
You're then going to work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch in that same space as joining. Chain one and puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch in the next chain one space. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Chain one, then into your next chain one space, work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch, then chain one, and repeat. You're going to continue this all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At this time, do not fasten off your color A. We're going to continue working with it. At the end of round 10, you've joined with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. We have one more round to work and all we're going to do is chain one. Continuing in your color A, you're going to single crochet into the top of that first puff stitch. Single crochet in the chain one space. Single crochet into your next puff stitch and single crochet into the chain one space. You're going to continue to repeat this all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off, weave in any ends you may have, and enjoy your not so vintage washcloth. And that's all there is So to working this pattern. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until then, Happy crocheting. Bye.